Matthew 23, 11 says, he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, okay? And a lot of times we think of leadership as the top dog, the, ho the muckety muck, um, you know, the guy that walks around and has the parking space in front. And you think that's greatness, okay? But the Bible says that he who is greatest among us shall actually be your servant, and it really defies logic. And about seven years ago, I went to Ken Blanchard's Lead Like Jesus Retreat in Texas. And at the end of the two days of leadership training, they had us all get on the floor, and we didn't wash each other's feet, but we had a very business thing. We had a shoe brush, and we brushed each other's shoes off, okay? And of course, that was symbolic of when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, okay? The same disciples that were arguing over who was gonna be the greatest, okay? And he sits down, and he humbles himself, and he washes their feet. And for those of you that have spent any time in the Middle East, ladies, I get my pedicures. What's the big deal about touching feet, okay? It's a big deal in the Middle East, okay? Your feet are dirty. Uh, when I was in the military, when we would travel to Middle Eastern countries, we were told don't show the soles of your feet. Don't ever put your feet up on a desk. It's the same as making an obscene gesture. So for Christ to step down on that level as a servant and show them, again, Christian leadership expectations, we don't look at a title. We don't look at how many books you sold, how many venues, are you Joyce Meyer, are you, are you selling out the giant arena, okay? Christ looks at our heart, okay? And that is the mark of a true leader.